What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Basically what's going on is we're creating a circle around this pole. We're trying to do a big circle for all the cars that show up tonight. I really want to say thank you everyone who showed up tonight because it's the first time of me really commented in the post and uh, try to make everyone come out for like a little meet, you know? And also the purpose of tonight's meet is because I've realized every single video I post, I only do car videos and like I haven't really talked to all the owners of the car and see what's actually done to the car. So today we're gonna get a bit specific and we're trying to see what the owners have to say about their cars. trying to do this circle but it seems like it's tough it's tough to line it up perfectly you lay there on the kitchen floor it seems like you can't take no more i'm sorry but when my hands and stars i just can't get enough i'll let you up I'm gonna start doing vlogs now more involved with the owners of the car so we got Robert here he's hey actually the owner of this hey guys this is my 2012 c300 it's uh it's not an actual AMG unfortunately it started out as a, just a luxury edition um, we've redone the rear bumper we've redone the front hood we've redone the front lip uh, <laughs> Yeah, we, we've had fun, but by no means is she one of the big boys. She's not the S class, she's not the E class, but she's my baby. And he has the Mercedes logo laid on the ground. This is Dave, and uh, he's the owner of this E63 AMG. And you said how many horsepower is it right now at the crank? It's about 750 at the crank. 750. Same, same as my GTR yeah. then. Uh, so what have you really like done to the car? I just put uh, AMS Catalyst down pipes, <laughs> and uh, I did a, a muffler valve, electronic valve, so I can open and close it. Yep. And then I uh, just got it tuned, and uh, yeah, it's about 750 crank and about 850 crank torque. Nice. So that's 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 all you did. That's all I did so far. You know, I might maybe future do a meth kit. You know, maybe some something to keep it a little cooler. Maybe a transmission upgrade that the clutch starts slipping around 900 torque. So nice. they had to keep it turned down. And by the way guys, you guys are gonna see Dave a lot now on my vlog because he's joining my Goat Diggers car team So he's gonna go to drag racing and all that with us For sure. Just wanna also shout out is this is Austin and um, I forgot his name Dude, Tommy. just call me Skyline Boy Okay, Skyline Boy oh, They're like, it. they're all from the low life standard meet that I always me, go him, to Zach, Brian And Zach and Brian Except I'm I'm at all their meets, but I'm not a part of them. They're too cool for me. <laughs> it's all good, man. Come race when you got the big boys. <laughs> yeah. But uh, if you guys are around Rhode Island, come to the Low Life Standard Meet. I mean, that's the best meet that I've been to so far. It's always fun.
day and night I'm running, running for you Gotta move, don't want no ride So warm me up Cause I know the world is at my feet So take me higher, baby Let's go and hit the streets Oh, Ryan was the one who just did all that with yep. his S63 yep. AMG. I guess we'll find out. <sighs> yep, stock, completely stock, absolutely nothing done to it. You press the traction control button and go. Very simple. So do you want to share the story of the purchase of the car? I heard it was a, a yeah, pretty good experience. Yeah, I drove all experience. the way to Maho Pack, New York. Guy bought the car brand new for 130000 I got it for a very fraction of that cost. We won't talk details or numbers, but... <laughs> Uh, tell you what, it's worth every freaking penny that I paid and then some, as you can see. A lot of fun, as you can see. Those were crazy burnouts. Thank you, appreciate it. And Ryan actually has a has a crazy truck too. Yeah, she's over there. So we're gonna get into that. Alright, you guys ready? So the race between the Audi and the Volkswagen. All right, let's go. The Audi one, the Audi one. So, Brian. Join out, my man. He's a part of Low Life, too. And uh, unfortunately, he didn't bring his car out tonight. Hey, a little busted rear end, you know. Somebody gets a little shattered, so. Yeah. But he, he's still gonna talk about his car, so. Oh, yeah. You know, I got a 97 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited, 5.9 block heads, 5.2 intake, lifted 6.5 inches on a rough country lift, 35, 10.5 15s on bar rims. Just about to put in my 50-inch uh, light bar, put in the bull bar. Um, once I do that rear axle, should be all set and going out to all the meets, having fun. Nice. Can't wait for that, man. Oh, I definitely can't wait. We're gonna have some fun this summer. Yep. Between going to the shows, going out playing in the woods, it's gonna be a good day for everybody. Yep. Thank you, man. Have a good one, my what man. What about you, Austin? What are you doing here? Like I'm just here. <laughs> I'm just here. I got a Hyundai. I'm here. He's like, I'm here with my car. I don't know why Austin thinks that his car is not cool. It's just I mean, a Hyundai. It's a Hyundai, but you did you did stuff to it, didn't you? It's just straight piped. Yeah, the exhaust comes out on the side. Nice. It's, it's great. <laughs> That air blowing to my face. That blew my ear. First of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who showed up to tonight's meet. I know it's crazy. I called it like an hour before the actual meet. But it turned out very good. We got a bunch of crazy shots. Get to do something new. Let the owner do the talk. They were talking about their cars. If you are a car lover and you are around Mass, New England area, just let us know. I will probably see you in a lot of meets. Hope you guys would see a lot more stuff from Godzilla soon too. I'm gonna do a lot more of this in the future because it's very fun, like actually knowing each car and how they actually build it, what's on it, and it's great. That's basically it. See you guys very soon, peace.